Hi there, I'm joined by Sasha Whittle, who is currently studying a double degree here at the Australian National University. Her first part of her degree is a Bachelor of Science majoring in Chemistry, and the second part of her double degree is a Bachelor of Visual Art majoring in Chemistry. Thanks, Sasha, for joining us today. No worries. So to kick off with, Sasha, can you please share about what you are currently doing with your time? Um, so I'm in my last semester of uni. Um, I've finished my science degree now um, and I'm sort of just polishing off my visual art degree. Um, it's all online at the moment, which is really interesting for both um, students and staff. Um, making sort of with what's available around us is very interesting. Um, and I'm really lucky at the moment to be working with um, ANU Innovation as well. So I help student startups and student innovation projects. Um, so yeah, that's been really fun. A um, lot of multidisciplinary teams, lots of exciting um, sort of projects and ideas floating around. Um, and I think definitely the double degree um, sort of multidisciplinary aspect led me towards um, that sort of a career path. Yeah, can I, can I pull on that a little bit? So you're doing a, a degree that people might not consider putting together. When people think about doing a science degree, they normally think about doing with engineering to get both sides of like the physics realm mm -hmm. um, or doing biotechnology and those kind of crossovers. But you've gone for what are two ends of the ANU campus, uh, physically and literally in the content you're studying. Can you tell us about why you chose to study this double degree? So much like engineering, I guess, it is an applied um, degree. Um, it is making, it's creative. Um, and in high school, I really enjoyed science, but I also really enjoyed art as well. And ANU was one of the few places in which I could do both. Um, hence, I moved here from Perth. And yeah, haven't regretted it. The flexible double degree means that I can do both at the exact same time while running around university is a bit of a hassle. Um, it's, it's good fun. Um, and they do somewhat lead into each other as well. With metalsmithing, a lot of the processes and techniques I've sort of touched upon more theoretically in chemistry. And then I can use that knowledge to sort of understand the inner workings of the metal and the different materials I'm using. So in that respect, it's been really, really great. So you've done plenty of different things within your studies, and I'm interested to know in particular about this cross-disciplinary approach to science um, that you've had throughout your studies. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, I think um, a lot of people are doing double degrees at ANU, which is really cool because although you'll meet a lot of people doing science while doing a science degree. They're also doing um, business courses and they're also in engineering and um, anthropology and a whole bunch of different other things. So bringing in the, all those perspectives and sort of applying the science in all those different fields is just um, really cool. And to see it happen at like a student level is also, um, yeah, really amazing to see. Mm. And there was a specific project that you worked on uh, with an academic here called Edie. Uh, can you tell us about, about the research project that you did? Um, one of the most exciting um, projects that I did in my chemistry degree was a research project with Edie, who's a, a physical chemist. Um, with that, I got to sort of design a project, essentially. And um, part of that was sort of finding out a way to gather this data that I was getting from this experiment. And while like I know a lot of high school experiments, you sort of sit there and look at the time and take the temperature every minute. Um, with this, I got to design um, sort of a system and with hardware that sends the data directly to my laptop. And then through that, I can make graphs and see what's happening in real time, which was really exciting. Um, and really cool to be able to um, not have to note take, essentially. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of data. Like, were you working with giant Excel spreadsheets? Was, were your, was your computer able to handle this much data? Well, my computer is an, an older model. <laughs> um, 
she does okay. <laughs> um, it was, yeah, a lot of Excel spreadsheets, a lot of um, um, Python sort of data compiling as well. Um, but from that, I could see a graph basically in real time. So fairly early on, I'd know if it was a throwaway set or a useful set. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sasha, for taking, through, taking us through your journey uh, thus far. Um, so it's been a pleasure chatting with you. All right. Thanks for having me.